Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. Hi, and welcome to Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. Today we're going to be editing some basic bitmap objects, such as an image and an icon sheet. So what you're first going to do is paste your favorite image or whatever image into fireworks and let's begin. Okay, now as you see right here I have a basic picture of two people and what we're going to try to do is cut it out of this big picture of all these rocks and everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom back in and I'm going to teach you how to use the lasso tools. For example, we can use our polygon lasso tool to make a pretty cool edge or a magic wand. Magic wand pretty much gets the really good edges right there down to whatever you want. And you can just click your delete button on your keyboard and just get these fine little points. And now what we're basically going to do just erase everything else and bring our huge eraser up okay oh, that's not working but as we have our bitmap selected eraser Okay, now that we have our eraser tool selected, I'm just going to erase a bunch of this because we don't need it. Just trying to get the basics down here. Basically, that's pretty good. I'm not switching it over to our circle tool. It's a little bit rough there, but so we have this basic picture of these people hugging on this rock. You can also just use another way to crop it to make it easier to work with so we don't have to erase all this. Is we right click on our image, we go over to edit, and then we go to crop selected bitmap. So as you can see, we have our little handles on the side here, and we're just gonna drag this all the way up here scroll over let's make this a lot easier to work with double click so we have this these people standing right here and of course you can always take off the rocks or whatever it has a little bit of blue up there and we can do small little photo retouching by just zooming in control 4 is an easy way to get in close and we take our eraser tool and of course shrink it down now this isn't a very high detailed photo so you can see it's a little fuzzy around the edges and because you can see my little rough edge that it's making you can easily fix that and match the rest of it by taking our blur tool just kind of fading it in so it looks like the rest of it and it looks pretty much the same if you cut out people right there and you can basically do this for anything you can also use your lasso you select a thing right here you bitmap via copy and we have our little thing right there and so we have their heads cut out, which you could always incorporate into that whole bottom thing, and you can always blur up that edge.
I do it there. Make sure it falls up nicer. And so there is basically image cropping. And you can also use this technique with many other things, such as icons. I just googled icons and clicked the first one that came up. It gave us this whole big icon sheet. What we can do is we take our wand tool again, select somewhere on the open part, so just about everything is selected. We hold shift to get this little bottom part because it's a gradient. Then we just click the delete key. And you can see I've already selected the background of the canvas to be red so you can see fade out and how it does that little glow on each one. And in order to take the uh, icon out, just to show you that it is transparent, we can just take our normal selection tool and just drag over it. And also use our same thing, new bitmap via copy. You can see we have it over here. Control D to deselect. Take our mouse. And now we have an icon cut out that we can use in basically anything that you can think of that you need icons for. So that's basically it about using vector objects. Hey, thanks for watching my tutorial. That's all for now. Next week, look forward to Web 2.0 Reflections. Bye.